Three things that will determine spring stiffness are weight and its distribution, ride height and track surface. We can also adjust front and rear rates independently to address common problems like oversteer or understeer. Let's quickly review how all of those help us pick spring stiffness. First, the heavier the car, the stiffer the spring needs to be to support it. And whichever end is heavier will need to be stiffer. So a front engine car like a Mustang will have a spring designed for the car's weight with stiffer springs up front and softer rear springs. A rear engine Porsche will have the opposite setup. Lowering the ride height means there is less up and down travel in the suspension, which increases the chance of bottoming out, so we need to run stiffer springs to compensate. If you have ever lowered your vehicle in real life, you may have noticed that the replacement springs were stiffer than stock. That is why. But it's the lower centre of gravity that actually provides you better grip. How low can you set your ride height? That depends a lot on the track. If you have a glass smooth track, you can go as low as possible because you don't need as much suspension travel to soak up the bumps. For most tracks with bumpier surfaces, you will need a few ticks on the ride height so you can run slightly softer springs. Oversteer and understeer largely depend on how we set the front and rear spring rates in relation to each other. The idea is that whichever end is relatively stiffer will lose grip before the other. To keep things simple, let's say that we have a car with the same amount of weight over the front and rear axles or a 50-50 weight distribution. Setting front springs stiffer than the rear would lead to understeer or the front tyres losing grip first. And setting rear springs stiffer than the front would lead to oversteer or rear tyres losing grip first. But sometimes we don't want to use springs to tune out oversteer or understeer. It might make it too soft and lead to excessive diving or squatting. Diving is when the front springs are too soft and the car leans too far forward when braking. Squatting is when the rear springs are too soft and the car's weight shifts too far back when accelerating. In those cases we can look at anti-roll bars to help us tune spring rates for corners, which we cover next.